when it comes to luxury cars, there's one segment that not just furthers the boundaries for the automobile, but also expands the horizons for science and technology. I'm of course talking about the luxury limousine segment. And to explain what I'm talking about, we have Audi's fourth generation A8L with us today. Now the A8 was also the first mass production car to feature an all aluminum chassis. Now this all new model, well, it's technically not all new because this car was unveiled a little over two years ago internationally, but due to reasons of the Volkswagen Group, the car didn't make it into India until now. But don't think for a moment that the A8L belongs to the pages of history. For this car is in the correct generation to challenge the likes of the Mercedes-Benz S-Class and the BMW 7 Series on sale today. So let's take a look at everything that this fourth generation Audi A8L has to offer. Now when it comes to the exterior design of this car, well, it's the Audi Bulgarian beard that really stands out. This is the largest ever example fitted to any Audi. And in fact, in the age of the large front grille, you have to remember that it was Audi that pioneered the design element. Now, when you move on to the side profile of the car, you realize that unmistakable window line of the Audi A8L. It's something that you can instantly relate to in previous models. And when you look down, you notice the sheer length of the wheelbase of this car, something that is also evident in the large rear overhang, all of which makes this car measure in excess of five meters in length. Now, when you step around to the rear of the car, you instantly notice those wraparound taillights that stretch all across the rear end of this car. And in fact, at night, it makes this car look like a concept car. So the A8L has those subtle German design cues, and yet at the same time, it has some very nice design cues that make it truly stand out on the road. And you're going to have to turn around for a second glance. Now the Audi A8L for India comes with a three liter turbocharged petrol V6. This engine is good for 335 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. But from where I'm sitting, this car feels like an out and out luxury car. Now this car may have a 5.7 second rating for its zero to 100 kilometers an hour acceleration run, but that is only when you're really pushing it from standstill. Otherwise, no matter how hard you try, uh, the A8L is engineered to simply waft you ahead. And uh, the surge of power that you get is more of a linear one. So you always get this sense that this car, despite its poke, was always set up for an out and out luxurious experience. Now, from the moment you set off, be it in comfort or efficiency mode, you can always sense that the A8L is more of a relaxed commuter. And in fact, this car is really, really nice to drive in the city. At slower speeds, the steering is so light, it's so nimble. So despite this car's length, which is in excess of five meters, when you're driving around, it feels like a rather compact sedan. And that's also thanks to its four wheel steering system. Now this electronically controlled steering setup turns both the front and rear wheels in the same direction when you're going at higher speeds. But when you're at slower speeds, that's when the rear wheels turn in opposite direction of the front wheels to make for a much smaller turning radius than this car ought to have. So in the city then, the A8L, despite its massive dimensions, is a very, very convenient car to drive. In fact, like I just mentioned, because of the light and nimble steering setup and the agility of this four wheel steering, the A8 is such a nimble car to drive in the city. You can just duck into gaps, go in and out of turns, and it's just a breeze to drive this car in the city. You would imagine it isn't so, but uh, that really is the case. And that is in fact the beauty of these luxury limousines. They might be fairly large in size, but when it comes to drivability, they are just so easy and comfortable to drive uh, in urban environments, especially that, uh, you know, there's really no complaints anywhere. Now, when the roads open up and uh, you hit highways and expressways, that's where this car's powertrain shows its impeccable setup as a luxury car. Now, even if you set 
everything to the most hardcore setting in sport mode, go into individual and set up the steering, the suspension, the engine and throttle response. Uh, you know, with all of that in dynamic, the pace does become much quicker and uh, in fact, the delay in kick down acceleration in city driving, whether you're in comfort or efficiency, is then negated. That is my only complaint that when you're driving in the city in comfort or even in dynamic mode, the delay in kick down acceleration is uh, fairly present. Now this is something you can do away with by taking manual control of gear shifts via paddle shifters behind the wheel or you can put the gearbox into sport mode. But that does seem uh, like a little bit of work uh, and it's only when the roads open up and you're carrying faster speeds in dynamic mode, that's where the gearbox holds the right gears at the right time and that's when this A8L really feels at its best. So you can sense that this was set up to be a motorway car as well. Now uh, from where I'm sitting, I'm cruising along comfortably. I have the optional 1920 watt Bang & Olufsen sound system belting out my favorite tunes and the clarity, the sound clarity that this system offers is just a whole different ball game. My only complaint is the speaker grill spread across the front of the dash and the meshing on the speaker grill, it just uh, acts as a disturbance to your eyes. And while we're on the subject of downsides, the driver's side footwell is fairly narrow and that's because of all the four-wheel drive hardware running through the transmission tunnel of this car. So that really does eat into the driver's legroom. Another downside is while the piano finish on the dashboard looks very nice, it does tend to reflect light from it at certain times. As for the touchscreen systems here, they work really well, but they do tend to retain fingerprint stains. Other stuff such as the opening of the air vents really adds to the sense of occasion of this car. But let's not forget the car comes loaded with convenience features. I can have my sat nav in the digital instrument cluster in front of me. I have a heads up display and I have all sorts of driver's aids, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, you name it, we have it all in this car. Unfortunately, most of these advanced driver aids and safety features we won't be using too often in India just because of our road conditions. Now, as expected, the A8L comes with air suspension and the ride really is commendable. Supposing it's an unmarked speed breaker, you approach it, and when the front tires hit it, you can feel the transition of the suspension setup changing. So as you start ascending the speed breaker, the damping from the suspension changes and by the time the rear wheels go over it, it's changed. So this car really is very intelligent. And out on open roads over wavy tarmac, the air suspension just does a beautiful job of masking the vertical movement associated with such undulations. But we can't really talk so much about ride comfort until we get into the rear seat of this car. And let's face it, it's that rear seat where a majority of A8 customers are gonna be spending all of their time at. So it's now time for the ever important rear seat review. Now this is a luxury limousine after all. So it's not as simple as just getting into the rear seat and going off. So let's get comfortable here. So this is probably how a chairman of a Fortune 500 company goes to work every morning. Now back here, the important stuff to know, you got your sun blind controls over here, you have your blinds as well that you can do electronically. Now over here, you have two tablets to take care of all your needs, literally. Now this one here is uh, detachable and you take it out, you can control your individual climate control settings for each of the rear seat occupants and then you come to the massage functions. So I can select a range of uh, massage options over here. I will go for revitalization right now, but that's not the end of it because you have a foot massage function as well, which is function via the front passenger seat. So you click on this and uh, this being a German car, they even ask you for your foot size to ensure you get that perfect massage. So the backrest is ma massaging my back, 
the massage function also works for the seat cushion and I have a massage for my feet as well. So as you can see, I'm quite well taken care of right now. I have just uh, put on the ventilated seat as well as it's getting a little bit hot right now. And now I have the other tab with me. Now this offers you a variety of functions. Uh, for example, you can check the basics of your car details. Uh, everything from oil level to your chassis number, it's all in there. You can uh, set the audio systems, acoustics as well from here. And this is an Android powered tablet with internet connectivity since the car comes with an inbuilt SIM. So you can just swipe out and you have everything here. You have your emails, you can even download Netflix, watch movies. You can even host conference calls from the back of your car. Yep, this is a true businessman's express. But these are all the toys. Coming back to the car. Now, as you can see, I'm very, very relaxed. I'm very comfortable. So what's it like traveling in the back of this car? Well, the cabin is huge. Huge, so I have so much space in here. The dual panel sunroof is very nice. It lends a very airy ambience to the cabin. Incidentally, uh, as you've seen, I have all the seat controls here, electronically adjustable. And uh, through the smaller tab in the center, I can even electronically adjust the headrests remotely. Uh, very cool, very high tech. And uh, well, when you're sitting back here, you really don't ask for anything else. Uh, you, if you want to work, you can work. If you want to watch your favorite TV show, you can do that too. And if you want to just uh, cruise along and enjoy the view, well, it has a large glass house, so you can have a great view out of the cabin. Inside the cabin, we are now cruising at 110 kilometers an hour on an expressway. But inside the cabin, it is absolutely quiet. There is no disturbance, no NVH from the powertrain, apart from a little tire noise, but that's because we are running on a concrete expressway right now. But these Michelin Pilot Sport tires are really soft and they're really quiet as well. Now coming to the trim and upholstery of this car, well, as you can see, there's a lot of different elements going on. There's a lot of Alcantara finish over here, black on the roof. There's a lot of leather everywhere. There's a lot of fob metal everywhere. And uh, overall, you know, it's all of these different colors, these different elements, these different materials that lends to the luxurious appeal of this car. Now, this is the daytime, so you can't see all of the ambient lighting in its true glory, but we're gonna cut to a few pictures that we took at night of this car, of the cabin, and you'll see just how nice it looks. So, um, as you can see, well, I've uh, run you through the car pretty much. Um, right comfort, as I was mentioning from the driver's seat, was pretty good but from back here I think I feel a little more comfortable uh, it's the seat cushioning the seat position the padding you know I am in a place of total comfort so if this is what my everyday commute to office feels like bring it on before I get to work I can uh, do all my preparations on the tab and by the time I get to work I'm fully prepared and productive over my commute The A8L then serves its purpose as a luxury limousine perfectly and then some. It's got the usual range of features to pamper you with. It's got connectivity features. You've got those tablets that can offer you a range of functions and even allow you to work remotely to an extent. But the A8L also has some very clever tricks up its sleeve, such as that four wheel steering system. It is absolutely fantastic. A car of this length and size should not have a manageable turning radius as this car does. In terms of its powertrain and performance, well, it might have a V6 engine, but you have to remember the size and weight of a car of this nature. And on that account, the powertrain sure is adequate, be it in terms of comfort or sporty driving. But in essence, this car has been set out with out and out comfort in mind. And that's what really works in favor of the A8L. It is a perfect luxury limousine. So if you're in the market for a car that pushes the technological boundaries for an automobile and at the same time pampers you with a level of luxury that is befitting of uber luxury cars, be sure to check out Audi's new A8L.